Well, there are Vikings fans that travel from near and far to support their team. Tony Trung came all the way from Vietnam in the mid-70s. He just wanted to live in America, didn't know anything about the Vikings. He settled in Minnesota. After 33 years last week, he closed his great Mandarin restaurant in Eden Prairie at the Eden Prairie Center. And that is where he became a Viking fan and eventually a team caterer. It's one of the final days at an institution. For 33 years, they've come to Eden Prairie Center in the great Mandarin. And now it's closing its doors. For nearly every day in those three plus decades, the owner, Tony Trung, has been here. How much are you going to miss this? I miss a lot. I meet a lot of people. Yeah. And I thank you for all the year. Everybody support me. Because here, everyone knows Tony. Yes, we've been coming here forever. Yeah, it's going to be kind of sad, huh? It's going to be sad. I've been coming here since I moved here in 1990. To understand why this journey is incredible, you have to go back to here in 1975. When he snuck out of South Vietnam on a boat to Malaysia, a refugee camp, and eventually the United States. In South Vietnam was a very afraid of the communists uh, come in. We tried to escape out by boat, and it was a first time and it was successful. Then his American dream took shape, in part because of the Minnesota Vikings. A Vikings trainer, the late Fred Zamberletti, stopped by for lunch. Soon, he would land Tony a freelance gig, catering team meals. I learned a lot of Viking about professionals and then how to meet the people. And they are wonderful. Trust me, they are wonderful. And he had a special customer that came to see him recently, a former coach named Bud Grant. Before I close up, he walk over here and give me the big hug and say goodbye to me. I was a cry because it's just so emotional. His walls were decorated with Vikings photos. His cup runneth over with souvenirs. Today, that vibrant restaurant sits empty, but it also represents a life well lived. I chose a freedom. I loved to be freedom when I was a kid already. And the players, they found a friend with good food. Yeah, he was, uh, he was always excited to come in, a lot of energy. He loved seeing the guys. Um, and the food, we called it winning meal. Because uh, whenever we needed a win, we, that's what we'd order. Because when he shows up at the Vikings, he finds friendship. It's great. Um, I've been having it for a few years now. So just building that relationship with Tony from him coming and just you know, being so transparent and just, just being a cool guy. So his food is great. Yeah, like I say, he's a cool person too. You got a pretty good personality, doesn't you? Yeah, I, I, he's more outgoing and he's just, he's a fun person to be around. You know, that good energy is always what I'm looking for. That's just part of his story in the United States. The bigger is that he came, he became a Minnesotan, and he is so appreciative of what became of his life. You live the American dream. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I did, I did. Even I closed my eye today, I thank you for what I did. When he says thank you, he means thank you to the United States of America and Minnesota and the Vikings for all that they did for him. Great story, great so guy. So cool. What a great story. My dad, a similar story coming from Southeast Asia. Very cool. Yeah, we've got to meet, get these yeah, two together. Yeah, we should. Oh, we should. Absolutely. Yeah.